Hello and welcome to the Cars Land Cup Series here at Thornton. And starting on pole is Brandon Nelson, the first driver to start pole that isn't from Cactus Motorsports. Took all the way to race four to do this. So, um, yeah, and this Thornton, uh, two laps, which will be the shortest race in terms of laps, but in term terms of time, um, this might be a long race. So, um, uh, engines will be started in just a few seconds. Um, and also another note, uh, uh, crimsons.exe, this is his second front row starting position. He started second at the Jazz 500. And we'll be changing the camera view in a bit. This is the only good one, the spectator view right here, so. Drivers! Start your engines! And the engines are now started as we now, we wait for them to roll off, which will be right now. Or should be. Yep, there they go, rolling off there. And Bobby Nelson uh, starting first. He'll be, he'll, he has the advantage into the first turn. Here we come to start the race. And green flag in the air here at Thornton. And three wide in the back with Daniel Pauls Jr. and Savage Toy Show. There's Pure Evan. This Crimson's.exc will take the lead. There's Bradley Ream. He's going to challenge for it down here on the bottom. Jimmer Chick 81, our Jazz 500 winner. There's Bradley Ream, is the new leader here at Thornton in just lap one. There's Jimmer Chick 81, going to challenge for it. A little bit of lag there. Now we're going to go to the helicopter view. Bradley Ream versus Drummer Chick 81. Oh, she is up the track there. Crimson EXE right in tow. A lot of it. And there goes Crimson EXE. He's going to go try to go to the top here for that position. Here we go in turn one. Oh, and Flam up the track there. Oh, he missed the turn almost, but he's going to get a huge run past Bradley Ream there. Let's turn on our standings. Currently last is Roach, who uh, has been very consistent this season, surprisingly, he's back there. And Dropsy, uh, currently last in points up there in four, so this is going to be a good points day for them, as Flam currently in the lead. the helicopter can. Bradley Ream, not done with him yet. The pole sitter, Bobby, um, right there in third. Oh, and Bobby's going to go underneath Bradley Ream. And Flam still at the lead. If Flam can win this race, he'll be the first multi-winner in the CCS, but um, we'll see how that happens. And Bradley Ream going to go to the bottom again here, and he's going to dive into the corner in front of Flam. A crazy start to this race, no doubt. We're not even lap one yet. As they are side by side on the freeway, as Flam still holding on to the lead and will block the 40 from taking it. Oh, and there goes Bobby and Dropsy, I think. I don't know, there's a little bit of squirming around. I don't know who's doing what right now. 
made it through that area. And Flam is still your leader. Oh, and they're four wide coming into this turn here. Who is going to get it? It's Flam. He's going to stay in the lead with three wide. Bradley Ream going to try to get a run. He's um, not going to, I don't think. As we are getting ready to close lap one. If Flam leads this lap, he will uh, get five points. And there's Dissect who won, led a ton of laps and is our points leader. Uh, he led a ton of laps in Atlanta. There's Bradley Ream. And they dive into this corner. There's Savage Toy Show. A lot of cars up here. And Flam with the lead here. And teammate Dissect. I do have to remind you that all ratings are equal right here. So everyone has equal ratings. So these two are leading in Atlanta. And they have equal equal ratings and and Flam looking to lead lap one for orbit racing. There's a pull sitter Bobby right there. So one lap to go here at Thornton. Oh, it's time to change the camera. And everyone's still in the race. Sam Kurbadzik right there in last. And Dysek is the leader right now. See, look at Drummer Chick 81, see how she's doing. She, uh, Jazz 500 winner, had a decent finish at Cleveland Airport. Coming into this race, hoping to get another good finish for Orbit Racing. Let's look at Bobby real quick. Up there in third. There's Pure Evan. And Bobby gonna go to the top here. Oh, Dissect goes right around his teammate on the top of the racetrack to take the lead. I can't see a thing. And Bobby right in tow. Oh, oh, the one of Iron Crusader is wrecked on the last lap. What happened to him? Iron Crusader. Let's see what happened. Uh, we'll get to the guys before the race is over. So, oh, uh, him and Jason Waymire had contact. That is going to be costly in the 82. What happened to the 82 of Gaming Freak? He he is up there as well. Oh, he was involved in the wreck with NASCAR Fan 97 and uh, go, uh, Krikri Taco's almost in it. Dang. So Rex on the beginning. Let's go back to the leaders here. As Bobby is in the lead right now. Coming into the final turns, I think. I'm not sure. No? Yeah, no, I think we still got, yeah, we still got a lot more racing left. So Bobby Nelson may be our first winner, first Toyota winner that is not a Chevy, but Dissect right there in current highest running Ford is Savage Toy Show. Oh, he's going to lose some time. There's Dissect going for the lead. He's got the third line going into the next corner once we get there. Currently right over dangerous area.
And there goes Bradley Ream. He's going to make it three wide. Is he going to make it? I don't know. He, he backed down. He backed down. Coming into f the final corners here. As Bradley Ream, he's going to make it three wide. He's going through the middle. He's going to take the lead. Bradley Ream taking the lead with one lap to go. Coming through just a few more corners. Through this big stretch, here comes Bobby. He, he's gonna try to make it as they're three wide for third. Drummer Chick 81 back there. Bradley Ream in the lead here. Just two more corners left, and he's the winner. If he can make it, here comes Bobby. Is he going to be able to do it? There goes Dissect. Pure Evan, Flam. Bradley Ream, he's gonna have to fight Bobby Nelson for the lead. Here comes Flam, it's gonna be down to the wire here. Bobby is up on the top, here comes Gar Flam on the bottom, three wide to the finish as Bradley Ream is your winner. What a race. Dang, what a race. Our first winner that is not Chevrolet being Bradley Ream in a Ford. And finishing second, Bobby in the 88. Crashes on the last lap. Almost three wide to the line. And, uh, well, I think that just about sums it up. Uh, Iron Crusader did finish in the last position. Dropsy uh, in the top 10 there. Bradley Ream finished top 10 at Cleveland. So, congratulations to Bradley Ream. Thank you for watching the Cars Line Cup Series. We'll see you next week at uh, a racetrack.